Hey, welcome back to the How to Podcast series. I got this email and I'm so excited I had to come on. I worked all night last night on my night shift and it's like 10 a.m. my time here in Canada and I had worked. I've been up since 9 p.m. yesterday. But at about 3 o'clock in the morning, this email pops up in my inbox and it's from Paulo in Brazil. And he just filled my cup so much. A, like I've said many times on the podcast, go to our podcast link in the show notes. And there's a little microphone icon and you can click it and send a voice message and we'll pull your message into the podcast. Guess what? I get the email. Powell sends me a, a message, a voice message. I'm going to include it here in the podcast. But it actually happened, and I'm so thankful, and I'm so grateful, and Paolo is listening. And Paolo is going to take what he's learning through listening to podcasts, including including this one, and he's going to turn it around and help people in his country, and he's going to work with students, and I'm so excited. So I'll play his message here. I'll share it with you and then jump back and give Paolo just a few tips and some thoughts. And you get to listen in to a conversation between a guy in Canada creating podcasts, hoping to inspire people to start a podcast, and Paolo in Brazil who's taking it up and saying, hey, I can do this. And for me, I'm just so... I'm honored and thrilled that it's working and the thoughts that we share on the podcast and creating something. And if you're a podcaster, you know what this feels like. You create a podcast, you go through all the work, you put it out into the world and you're like, eh, I hope somebody is enjoying this or it's resonating with someone. And that's why the How to Podcast series is so important to me as a podcaster is I want other people to see the value in this and then take it to their communities, use it to build other people up. And that's exactly what Paolo has planned. And I want to celebrate with Paolo. Paolo, thank you. You've made my day. So here's the message that Paolo left for me. I, in turn, sent him back one. And we're going to kind of play tag, I guess, using SpeakPipe. If you're a podcaster and you want to hear from your audience, SpeakPipe is free. and You can add it to your website or wherever you want, and people can click it and leave you a voice message. It's great. And did I mention it's free? So thank you, SpeakPipe, for making this connection for me. I'll put links in the show notes on SpeakPipe as well if you're interested. But here we go. This is the message from Paolo. It came to my inbox. I had to record this before I go to bed after being up all night. And I wanted to share it with you and thank Paolo for sending the message. Here it is. Here's the message from Paolo. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. You have reached the voicemail box. Hey, Dave. I'm Paolo from Brazil, and I'd like to thank you very much for helping me. Uh, to decide, finally decided to make my own podcast. I want to make some episodes to help students who are studying English here in Brazil. The studies of English here are very poor and our students have many problems with it. So I decided to help who want and who need some help. <laughs> Thank you, because since I've found your podcast in the Spotify, I decided uh, to do it, and it's my it's my dream, and I want to have something in my life that I can use to help people who need. So there you go. That's a message from Paolo that came in through email. Paolo, again, my hand is on my heart. Thank you for for reaching out and leaving a message. What I love, Paolo, about your plans is you already have a clear idea of your why. There's many 
podcasts, there's many podcasters out there, Paolo, that will go and buy the microphone, they get all the stuff together, and then they ask the question, what should I podcast about? And that's backwards. What you're doing, Paolo, is you have a plan, you know your audience, you know what you want to do with your podcast, you are already light years ahead of many people who are thinking, dreaming, wishing of having a podcast. You already know who your audience is, and that's going to make podcasting so easy. So, Paolo, my offer to you, it's you and me talking and others are listening as we do this, but I would love to come on your new podcast and be a guest for you. I would love to do that. I would love to have you come on my podcast, maybe through a Zoom call or whatever we can arrange. But I would love to let people see the journey of you starting this podcast and follow along. And I would encourage, once the podcast is ready, I would encourage everyone listening to our voices on this episode to go and support you, to follow the podcast, to share the podcast. We have people, Paolo, living here in Canada that could listen and learn from you and your podcast as they are learning English in Canada or America. And what you can do, Paolo, is much bigger than what you have planned. But focus on who you have, your audience, who you've decided to serve. But just realize that as you serve, other people will follow along and be, and share a great podcast that helps people. I'm so proud of you, Paolo, that you are on this path. So exciting. And I feel like I know you already. And But I have never met you in person. But to hear your voice, again, really was exciting. And I know everyone else listening is like, wow, it it did happen. And Paolo, I just want to encourage you. And like I said, I would love to spend time with you. I would love to assist you in any way possible, whatever you need. I would love to do that for you and, and just encourage you. So Paolo, reach out again. Thank you for sending this. I'm so thankful. But again, if you ever need any help in the future, reach out and we will definitely work together and see that your dreams come true. If you are thinking of starting a podcast, you're just like Paolo, and you're wherever you are in the world, and you're thinking, I, I really think I can do this. The truth is, you can. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. The biggest thing about starting a podcast, it's not about the type of microphone that you have. It's not about any of that. It's about the content. It's about what you want to talk to, what you want to speak about, who you want to help. If you can figure that out first, all the other stuff will happen. So don't let all the technology, don't let all those things. Those are questions that can be asked and answered very easily. And there are people who will help you. And I would love to be one of them. So, hello again. This is a very short little quick episode, but I promise to everyone listening, including you, Paolo, that if you send a voice message in, I will respond. I will include it in a podcast, and I will send it out into the world so people can hear about you. Paolo, when your podcast is ready, we want you to come back, tell us the name of the podcast, and then we will, as the How to Podcast series audience, follow along your journey and support you and encourage you. Paolo, I'm so proud to have met you. Thank you for taking the step to reach out and leave us a voice message. So inspired, Paolo. So inspired. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will talk soon, Paolo. And for you listening, again, information in the show notes. I would love to hear from you. If Paolo did it, you can do it as well. So go to the show notes, click on the link, go to the website, leave us a voicemail. And like I said, just with Paolo, I will do the same with you. If you have a question, a comment, if I can help you in any way, I will help you to the best of my ability. And if it's beyond my ability, I will find you the person who can help you the most. I would love to be part of your podcast journey, just like Paolo's. Paolo, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the How to Podcast series. You guys, Paolo, you made my, you made my week. You made my month. 
Enjoy your week. Enjoy your podcast journey, everybody, and we'll talk soon. Thanks, all. Cheers. Mm-hmm.